Hello, my name is Kim Saha. I'm a chartered physiotherapist, and I'm going to take you through six different exercises today to do at your desk. Now, of course, I would rather you get up and walk around and actually have some movement and some exercise through the day, but these are ones you can do if you are actually um, stuck at a desk and you can't move, and they're very subtle, um, so hopefully it isn't something that will draw the eye of your colleagues within the office. Now, I'm not going to go through sitting posture in too much detail today because I have another video on my YouTube channel taking you through um, everything you need to know about, about sitting posture at your desk, because I haven't got a desk here in front of me, because I would like you to show you the exercises. So you will notice this wedge and back support again, which I talk about in my posture video. So I'll put the link in the description box. If you scroll all the way um, down and open it up, you'll see my link um, to how to sit. But I will prompt you a little bit during this video. So like I say, six different exercises to tone you up a little bit, um, and also to encourage good posture and to reduce those aches and pains while sitting at the desk. So now I've got your attention. Um, if you could please click on the subscribe button that's just below this video. Um, I think it is on the right if you're on your phone and on the left if you're on your laptop. Um, so if you subscribe to my channel, there are lots of lovely physiotherapy led workouts and nice safe workouts for cardiovascular and for Pilates and for stretching and a few other physiotherapy tips. Okay, so let's get on with the video. I'd like your feet hip width apart and your knees hip width apart. I'd like you sitting directly down through your sitting bones. So this one, um, you can pick and choose as and when you do it, um, because you don't want to look too odd um, in the office, but it's a lovely one to release off that lower back, and also to tone up through the abdominals if you do it right. So you might want to sit a little bit forwards on your chair, so you've got a little bit of room at the back here, and we're just doing pelvic tilt, so your arms could be um, at the front here, or they could be on your hips, On your hips is useful because you can tell what they're doing, and we're just rolling back off the sitting bones, but I would like you to scoop in through that lower tummy here, using those deep abdominals, scoop in through the lower tummy to tuck the bottom under, and then you stick your bottom out behind using the little muscles in the back. So we are actually trying to use the abdominal muscles and the back muscles for these pelvic tilts. So tucking under and sticking the bottom out. I want you just really aware that you're using the muscles to do this exercise. You're not just rocking forwards and backwards, so you're scooping in and tucking the bottom under, and then you're crunching those muscles. I shouldn't use that word, that's actually a little bit negative, but squeezing together the muscles in the back to stick your bottom out. Now I want the ribs to stay where they are. So you're just moving from as low down as you can. Whilst we're doing this, we're just going to address the posture at the top half. So keeping the chest open at the front, keeping the ribs down, and the whole time scooping in through that lower tummy. So very simple, just pelvic tilts there. I'd like those feet firmly planted on the floor at the moment. Now I can feel those abdominal muscles. If you do this properly, using those muscles, it's almost like doing a bit of a crunch, sitting down which is great. So you want to feel like you're drawing upwards towards your ribs there. This bit should stay relatively still, which is why it's quite a good exercise to do at the desk, because to everybody else, maybe you're just rocking a little bit. <laughs> good. So that's just rocking forwards and backwards. You should feel a little bit tired after doing these. Number-wise, I'm going to go for around 40 on all of these. Good. Good. All right, so we're going to stop there because I'm mainly just going to be demonstrating these exercises today. So sitting up tall on the sitting bones again, the chest open and the shoulders drop down and the chin tucked back. And we're just squeezing your bum. So you don't really need a YouTube video for this one, but you know, we're going to squeeze and hold for 10 seconds. Because while you're sitting at your desk, your bum cheeks are going to go dead. <laughs> They're in a stretched position, but they're also not being used. So just a bit of a bum squeeze can keep those woken up. So you're squeezing and holding for 10 seconds, and then relax. But you're also thinking about scooping in this lower tummy at the same time, so squeeze again. It's a little bit difficult to squeeze when you're sitting, but trust me, it's a good thing to do whilst keeping the rest of that good posture, so opening out the, through the chest, Tucking through the chin, lengthening the back of the neck, and then relax your bum again. So 10 times 10 seconds of those. 
you can do a little bit less, but if you're actually looking at getting just a little bit of a workout at the desk there, you've got to do the high numbers. So the next one that we're working on from the waist down, again, set the posture through the top half, tuck the chin, open the chest. I'd like you to be sitting directly again down through those sitting bones. If you don't know what I mean by that, shuffle your hands underneath and just um, feel the sitting bones underneath the hands and you want to be sitting directly through them. Now, we're going to be taking the weight through the left leg or pushing down through the left leg and just hovering up the right. Now, you'll notice there there's no twisting or hitching or collapsing through the top half. We're literally peeling that foot off the floor and we're going to hold for five seconds. You can hold for longer if you like. Again, you want to be using these muscles here to hold it there, to take the weight through that right leg, push down through it a little bit, and pick up the left. Gosh, that's easier. So it will be easier on one side compared with the other. Again, again hold for five seconds. Good. And we can do 20 of these five second holds. Again, this can all be done underneath the desk. It can be done while you're on a conference call with a headset on or something, all of this can be done really quite discreetly whilst toning up those abdominal muscles and holding good posture. Good, so you can see there my toes are up. I'm pulling the toes up, the knees lifting. I'm not leaning back, so that's one thing to really think about. Five second holds. Good. So what you'll find after that exercise is you're just a little bit tight in the front there. So just roll forwards and backwards. Do that pelvic tilt exercise a couple of times just to free off the front of the hips. Good. Now, obviously, that is something that gets tight while sitting at the desk. And I'm dealing with exercises here that are during sitting, but it doesn't hurt to stand up and just arch your back a little bit and twist a little bit just to ease off um, that tightness that does build in the front of the hips there. So we're just going to be dealing with the calves a little bit here. Um, and blood does pool in the calves. I'd like you to cross your legs. It's not a good idea to sit cross-legged whilst in a meeting or um, at the laptop. It does sort of compress the veins at the back of the leg here. But just for a little bit of weight going through this bottom leg, that's what we're going to do. So again, holding that good posture. Scoop in that lower tummy, drop the shoulders. And I just want you to come up onto the toes there. So that little bit of weight through that leg is helping just to um, strengthen through that calf a little bit. So pulling up onto the toes. I'm just going to slow it down a little bit there, just demonstrating a bit too fast. Pull all the way up and drop the heel all the way down, all the way up. Squeeze through the calf as you go, and then back down again. Now the calf is going to be pumping that blood nicely through the veins and back up to your heart. So this will help with... Um, any pooling of blood, any swelling in the feet and ankles from sitting at the desk too long. Keep remembering to drop those shoulders. Good. Squeezing through that calf. Brilliant. So quite high numbers again of these. I think you could do 30 on each leg. You could do a few more if you wanted. But just make sure that you repeat on the other leg, pulling up onto the toes there. And again, this isn't going to look weird at all. If anyone says it looks weird, get them to watch my video. <laughs> Brilliant. So I think that one's that one demonstrated. Um, now, people get a little bit tight around the hips whilst sitting at the desk. So why not cross that leg over? I'd like your ankle to sit very nicely on the thigh there. Now, um, wiggle it around a little bit because you don't want the ankle bone poking into the thigh. Drop that knee down and then just lean very slightly forwards into it. Now, I'm quite flexible and that's about as far as I can go. So just angle your body forwards and then holding it there. It'll stretch this bum here. And again, we're working on that posture. We're working on those lower abdominals. And we just hold in this position, 30 second holds. Good. And then I'll just demonstrate on the other side. Cross that leg over outside of the ankle on the knee. And then just angle forwards a little bit. If you're extremely flexible, you can push down with the elbow here. But what I'd rather do is keep the back straight and then just angle forwards. Just roll forwards off the sitting bones. Slightly forward there, which is quite nice. You can also circle the ankle there in that position, which is really quite nice to release off around the foot and ankle whilst you've been sitting for any length of time. Good stuff. Right, 
So with a lot of people, the, um, the muscles around the shoulder blade go to sleep here, especially if you've lengthened them by rolling the shoulders forwards. Desk work is one culprit, too much gym work is another culprit, and all sorts of things like um, breastfeeding and just general posture issues. So we're going to work on those muscles around the shoulder blade there. Um, again, just sitting feet hip width apart, sitting high up on the sitting bones, not arching the back too much, not slumped back here. So sitting up tall, just so the weight goes directly down through the hips broad and through the shoulders and then all I want you to think about doing is drawing the shoulder blades together very slightly. I don't want any of this because this just pops the upper traps there. So you're just pulling the shoulder blades together and thinking about rotating that shoulder backwards and opening out through the front. So the general movement wants to be an opening at the front of the chest and a slight drawing together of the shoulder blades there. If you can't feel where this is happening then you can stick a thumb on there and that's the kind of movement that we're looking at. Just a gentle drawing back. So sitting, like I say, conference call, um, sitting at your desk, just draw those shoulder blades back, broaden through the front of the chest, but keep the shoulders down away from the ears. So just pulling those back. Think about tightening through the pelvic floor and drawing in through those lower abdominals at the same time, because you're gonna do 10 times 10 seconds of these. Ideal for that time where you're just sitting, listening. It just draws you into a good posture. So frankly, this is something to do at any point in time. And then just relax those off again. 10 times 10 seconds is enough to really give you a bit of a workout around those shoulders. But I'd accept any less. Three times 10 seconds, five times 10 seconds, brilliant. And you can do a little circuit of all, these, all of these exercises with just a few of each. So drawing those shoulder blades together and hold, keeping the ribs down keeping the chin tucked, and we're going to move on to that next. Lovely. So you'll see how subtle a movement that one is. So the next one is thinking about drawing that chin back. This has got to be the most common mistake people make at the desk, just sort of slumping in the chin, poking forwards. And now this carries on into everyday life. And let's face it, it's just not very attractive, that chin poking forwards. It gives you a lot of pain in the neck. Um, so I'd like you to put your hands behind your head, interlock your hands. Again, it doesn't look too weird. You can actually um, rest back on the chair here, so it just looks like you're having a bit of a chill. Um, put your feet up if you want. Ha -ha. Um, and all I want you to do is tuck your chin back into your hands. So the hands provide just a little bit of pressure on the back of the neck to push into. So you're just pushing the chin back, tucking the chin back, lengthening the back of the neck, and you should feel a bit of a stretch up through the back here. And what we're working is these muscles in the front. It's lovely and attractive to have that lengthened neck with the chin tuck, that really nice posture. So why not start working on these exercises and tuck your chin back, lengthen the back of the neck, keeping the elbows wide, pushing in. Again, we can hold for 10 seconds. I would start with five times 10 seconds of this one because it, it can, it doesn't look like much, but it's quite strong on the neck, these exercises. So hands there, tucking the chin back. Good. I'm just going to demonstrate one more time, hands locked behind the head, tucking the chin back, pushing in to your hands. Draw in through that lower tummy at the same time and dropping the shoulders down. Good work. So there's your more subtle exercises to do at the desk, um, just to keep your body moving, um, to keep everything mobile and uh, to tone up. You could actually tone up with some of these exercises around that lower tummy and around the shoulders. Um, there are a few extra ones that you could do. Sort of sick to stand is fantastic. Squeeze your bum as you come up, come back down again. Just a little bit less subtle. So leaning forwards, drawing in, scooping in the tummy, tighten the thighs, tighten your bum, and then lower back down again, just so you don't clunk back down. Scooping in, coming up, drawing in the tummy, squeeze your bum. So really quite less subtle there. It might be something that you do a little bit more at home. Um, and then obviously things like triceps can be fantastic. So keeping a few little weights next to you, you just do a few tricep exercises just to tone up through the arms. Um, but again, a bit less subtle. So I hope you enjoyed um, this little chair workout for the desk. Definitely give it a try and give me a little comment in the comment box um, right below the description. So scroll all the way down. Give me a little comment in there to tell me 
what you think. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the channel having subscribed, um, doing a few of my Pilates and HIIT workouts, and let me know how you go with those.